Hey, what's up everybody? I haven't made a video in a while. I feel like I've really, really neglected my YouTube channel. I've neglected all of you guys. Any subscribers that I may have gotten, all of that stuff, you're all probably just wondering what I'm up to. So I'll fill you in, aside from the shocking appearance of just letting the beard grow, I have been working a lot. Um, a lot of uh, really just work 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 and then you get to the weekend and then you kind of like are like oh so glad the weekend's here you end up not really doing anything with your weekend because you're just trying to relax and chill and then you go back to work again and it starts all over again and and again i've neglected um the channel i i have a lot of ideas that i want to do and i've got to tell you i have a lot of videos that i've made but i haven't edited them and i haven't published them um, that's something I'm going to work on today, and by today I mean, what is it? It's June 6th, 2021, and I got a couple motorcycles to show you. So, in this return to YouTube video that I'm making here, uh, I'm going to show you two bikes that I got. One's a cruiser, one's a scooter, um, but they're both really cool and they both shine in their own way. Cruiser's back here. Um, got a 2002 Honda VTX 1800C. I got this windshield. I made a video putting that on there, but I ended up deleting it because I didn't like the way it turned out. That's kind of the way my YouTube creativity has been working lately, is I'll, I'll make a video and then I'm just like, ah, I'm never gonna get a chance to edit this, so I'm just gonna delete it instead. And then, then I'm, nothing ends up coming to the channel. I also have a Cobra Sissy Bar, short round. Put that on there and I replaced the air cleaner cover because it's like chrome plated plastic and it was all bubbly. Um, but here, let me just show you. If anything, it can be said that I've been keeping busy with motorcycles. Um, it's kind of been my escape from the, the busyness that is life. Now, this is a pretty big motorcycle. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out on my other lens here if I can figure out how to do it. But yeah, okay, now I got it on the more GoPro looking lens here. So I replaced this, so it's all shiny and pretty. I also had to replace the air cleaner housing because one of the bolts, bolt holes was kind of stripped. So I got this uh, to get back into riding bikes. Uh, it's a pretty cool bike. It's, it's really heavy. Um, this thing has about 27,000 miles on it. Not sure if I like the windscreen or not. I think I need to adjust it and then see how that does. Don't want your friends sliding off the back or your wife or your kids. So I put this sissy bar back here. And of course, you know, knowing me, right, we had to put an Apple sticker on there. Of course, uh, ignore all the garbage. I've got incredible neighbors. So shaft drive, got a new Pirelli Night Dragon tire on it. The front is just a Metzler um, ME888 Marathon Ultra. It's in pretty decent shape. The color is, I think it's called Illusion Blue or something, but it's it's kind of a dark purple most of the time, and then sometimes in the right light, it is blue. The, <clears throat> the windscreen is Memphis Shades, and it does a pretty good job. It keeps the pressure off your body so you can cruise on the highway with a little less fatigue. The next addition to the family is a Honda Forza. This is a, basically, it's a maxi scooter. It's a larger displacement scooter. Forza, this is a 300cc. So it's just under that, but it's called a Honda Forza 300. Um, this thing's pretty cool, because it's got like a dashboard that reminds you of a car three gallon gas tank, uh, all sorts of little buttons for the seat. And then this, this box locks and inside of this box is a little plug-in for your phone charger. And this is just a really cool little scooter uh, that we got for my wife to learn on. And actually I kind of like it so much, I might sell this to get another one or to get a bigger one, like a silver wing or something. Anyway, I do plan on making walk around videos on these things where I talk about them a little more extensively. And I've been thinking about getting into moto vlogging. I think that would be kind of cool. You know, you get the little GoPro set up on your helmet 
and you go cruising around talking whatever kind of adventures you might have right so you just go out and enjoy yourself and I think that might be a really cool direction for the channel um, I don't know yet oh by the way the uh, cool little Honda Forza here also has Pirelli tires on it it's a racing scooter I kid I kid of course um, but so I, I would like to see myself uh, engaging a little bit more with you guys out there in YouTube land I've been making YouTube videos for you know off and on for a solid decade and I'd like to get back in it I, I miss it um, I do I do work a bunch and I, I between the maintenance on these bikes and the kids that are growing up quickly uh, it's it's really hard to update YouTube I mean I even have videos that I need to make that of people that have sent me things that I, I need to do and all that kind of weighs on you after a while because you're like well what am I doing you know I'm so far behind with all of my like YouTube obligations and and whatnot so life's been a little strange I'd like to blame it on COVID um, I don't think I've really even mentioned you know the whole pandemic thing since since it even happened but that kind of threw a wrench in our lives for a while and we've slowly been you know kind of recovering from that too just uh the shock of it all and the change in, of, of lifestyle and it, it's just been different man so all right i uh, uh welcome your comments or feedback um or commenting on the direction of the channel including these two motorcycles uh honestly though I really might sell a big VTX. Uh, it's uh, what is on my nose? No idea. It's it's a heavy bike and it's cumbersome. And I mean, you don't really feel the weight when you're out on the highway, right? But I tend to ride these things more around town than I ever do getting on the highway with them. And so that means you're always feeling the weight of this big bad VTX. It was like the largest, and don't quote me on this, but it was the largest displacement V-twin engine on the planet when this bike came out. And, uh, you know, it's it's a torque monster. It's a, it's a hot rod motorcycle. Uh, it's a lot of fun, but they didn't exactly make it lightweight and easy to ride. Um, I do have some experience riding bikes, but no means am I an expert, and by no means do I want to constantly be wrestling around a... 700 plus pound motorcycle when I just want to have fun, you know, so um, You know Anyway, I think I've rattled on a little a little too long already Hope you guys are all doing well out there in YouTube land um, this has been your Leo update and hopefully uh, Soon or maybe even like this week this upcoming week Weather's gonna be cooler. I'll be uh, having some videos scheduled to publish out and sort of try to get back into this whole YouTube thing again. So, all right, talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.